Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making a rather fun Rose and Calendula facial cleansing powder. I made quite a few of these cleansing powders back in about 2016 and then kind of forgot about them for a while. And then somebody here on YouTube suggested that I make uh, what is marketed as a powder to foam cleanser, which sounds very exciting and kind of mysterious. And I was like, hey, I have done that before. I just didn't call it a powder to foam cleanser, but you know, it was a powder, turns into a foam. And so yeah, that is what we are making today. The bulk of this cleanser is clay. I used zeolite ultrafine clay because I have way too much of it. I bought a bunch of it when it was being discontinued uh, years ago and I still have way too much of it. Uh, if you don't have it, feel free to use white kaolin clay instead. You just wanna use something nice and soft, so don't use bentonite clay or rasool. They're too heavy and coarse. To that clay base, I have added two botanicals, dried roses and dried calendula, and they blend up into the clay absolutely beautifully and offer just a touch of exfoliation. I've also included some soothing colloidal oatmeal and some jojoba oil helps make the whole mixture quite creamy. That intriguing foaming part of the powder to foam comes from the inclusion of some sodium cocoa isothionate, which is a gentle anionic powdered or solid surfactant that gets blended into the powder. As you can see, the final product is a pretty unassuming looking fine beigey powder. If you use kale and clay, it will be paler than this as the zeolite clay is what gives us the bulk of its beigey color. To use, you'll simply dispense a bit into your palm and work it up with some water and then use that to wash your face. And there is a demo at the end so that you can see the lather in action. You can see that powder to foam thing happen. If you'd like more information about this formulation, including information on substitution, scaling, shelf life, where to buy ingredients, and a whole lot more, please make sure you are checking out the description box. Below this video, there's a link to the blog post. Click through to that and you'll find a ton more information there. But well, come on, let's get started. We'll begin by combining our powdered ingredients in our DIY specific coffee grinder. Do not use your coffee coffee grinder for this. You will regret it immensely. So we need 18 grams of either zeolite clay or white kaolin clay, one and a half grams rose powder, one and a half grams calendula petals, three grams colloidal oatmeal, and four and a half grams of sodium cocoa isothionate in a powder form. Our last ingredient is one and a half grams of jojoba oil, and I find it is easiest to weigh it out directly into the coffee grinder and scatter the drops over the surface. Now we're going to blend it. So I'm gonna pop the lid on here and give this a good thorough blending. Now I'm going to pop on my dust mask and then pull the lid off of this and give it a stir before blending it some more. All right, and there's our cleansing powder. So once it was thoroughly blended and I couldn't see any sort of lumps or bits when I was stirring it around with a spoon, I transferred it to a container and this is a 50 milliliter plastic jar with a screw top lid from Yellow Bee. Uh, so now we can do a little bit of a demo here. You can see that you get a low creamy lather and there is a little bit kind of particulate going on in there for a, just a touch of physical exfoliation but it is quite a smooth creamy powder so you get kind of the the best of both worlds a uh, combination of a clay face mask and a foaming scrub and there you go we just made a beautiful rose and calendula cleansing powder Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please remember to check out the description box below this video for more information, where you will find links to places to buy all the ingredients, information on substitutions, shelf life, scaling, and a whole lot more. So thank you so much, and I will see you next time.